Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I believe we are in for a pleasant surprise today because there is no drastic exaggeration of this young man's body fat levels in his title. He claims he's 6% and when he was younger, like 13, 14, he claimed he was 3%. And for any of you unfamiliar with Tristan Lee, he's basically been eating trend bologna sandwiches since he was a teenager, completely shredded, jacked out of his mind, you know, from his adolescence into his early teenage years up until now. And I believe he's around 18 or 19, still shredded, very muscular and very popular. Let's see what he's eating today. Okay guys, so for this meal, we're gonna have sausage, ground beef, and shrimp. The sausages are like probably one of my favorite things because of the macros are very ketogenic specific. They're higher fat. They're around 70% fat and then 30% protein, which is literally the exact range that you wanna be in. On top of that, these are really good because they're already pre-cooked. You can literally just throw them in the, in the pan, fry them up, and then they're ready to go to eat. So we're gonna fry up these and then we're gonna throw about four ounces of ground beef onto the plate as well as like 100 grams or so, which is like 20 grams of protein worth of shrimp oh hey boy the carnivores would love this one you gotta fill yourself with that great a angus prom beef then make sure when you get back to the ranch with the boys to inject yourself with that sweet old testosterone and uh you know the amount of agrochemicals pollutants negative things in these foods the conventional meat, seafood, is what wreaks havoc on the average American's hormones. However, the average American does not compensate for it. You know, on paper, all of these foods would be incredibly nutritious if they were grown in wild, pollutant-free environments. But, you know, the beef being fed corn and soy, antibiotics, chemicals, cows getting injected, the shrimp, one of the worst bottom feeders, highest pollutant foods, and conventional pork sausage, even worse because the pigs translate more of the negative feed into their flesh, so it's higher omega-6, it's even more inflammatory. This seems like some type of keto meal, but you know most people that go keto stay overweight and fat and never reach their goals because they consume a lot of highly estrogenic, chemical-laden, polluted animal products. The main issue is this guy's not being honest about what he's putting in his tushy. Okay, so uh, we just got back from the gym, uh, trained some chest this morning, so it felt pretty good, but uh, since this is the full day of eating slash what I eat in the day video, I'm gonna talk about my second meal. In this meal, it's gonna be a little bit lower fat, higher protein. So what I'm gonna do is cook up three of the pasture raised eggs. Meal prep's super important to us. So here we already have a bunch of ground beef cooked up. It's actually the 88% ground beef, so it's a little bit higher fat than the 93% that we usually get. And over here we have a leaner steak already cooked up. Still a little bit rare, so that when we throw it in the microwave, it'll cook it to exactly how we want it. How I've calculated my macros through this meal is that since this is a leaner steak, I wanted a higher fat beef, so the ground beef is 88% versus 93%. And then for eggs, I pretty much have them with every one of my meals. I just love the eggs here. They're, they're way better than they are in Canada. This macronutrient stuff is such nonsense to me. You know, this guy's microwaving conventional meat, you know, purchasing pasture-raised eggs that he thinks is healthy when in reality, you know, Vital Farms feeds their chickens the same corn and soy that most other producers do. Granted, their eggs are slightly higher quality, still by no means worth eight or nine dollars a dozen. You know, when you're young, when you're taking all sorts of performance enhancing drugs, you know, there tends to be a lot of leeway for these other lifestyle factors such as radiation and pollutants in the food supply. So we're gonna cook all these things up and then yeah, we're gonna eat it and hopefully enjoy it. This is how to the dime we are. I like measuring obviously cooking oils as well. So I we have olive oil. I'm only gonna put like half a teaspoon. This is a smaller pan. So you're not gonna need a ton of oil just to coat it, just enough to coat the bottom of it. And then your eggs shouldn't stick to the pan at all. And with this, I kind of just estimate it's not really that big of a deal, but you don't want to go overboard on oils because that's going to add your overall calories throughout the day. And if you're trying to cut, these small things do make a big difference.
you know, we did a video on calories in, calories out, and the overall summary of that was, yes, in the context of a modern conventional poisonous diet, if you go low enough in calories, you will eventually lose weight. But if you just increase the food quality to as high as possible and live a natural lifestyle, you know, exercise low in radiation, you will reach that ideal body composition naturally, regardless of what you're eating. I'm gonna throw this in the microwave, stir around the eggs a little bit, and then that'll be our meal. It's pretty simple once you have the stuff prepped. So if you just cook a bunch of meat, you can just scramble up some eggs and then throw it on your plate and then you got a full meal, so cover this. We have a video on microwaves, heavily, heavily censored, but if you look up Frank Define on microwaves, you'll get a good idea of why you shouldn't be using them, why you shouldn't even have the device in your house. Okay, so there's our meat done, and then our eggs are in the pan there, ready to go. And this is our like, this is kind of like our after workout meal, so I like having more protein right after my workout. Okay, so that's meal number two. I'm gonna finish this up, and we're gonna skip ahead to the next meal. What should we start with? Okay, so the first one I'll talk about is vitamin D. This one's actually good, it tastes good. It's literally a spray that you can just spray into your mouth in the morning. So I take this in the mornings at nighttime. It can actually make you more energized. So when you take it in the morning, obviously it's gonna have a You know, I would bet this guy is watching my videos. There, there's quite a few things I've heard him say that I've heard from my videos. And I've actually never heard anyone besides myself talk about how vitamin D keeps you up at night. Very, 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 uh, coincidental but uh you know these degenerates just steal other people's ideas don't give them credit for them and try to make money off of it themselves similar effect while we've been in la we've been trying to get more sunlight so brayden forces me to go on these stupid little walks with him if you can't get enough sunlight during the day i definitely suggest having a vitamin d supplement it's gonna give you way more energy and you're gonna feel way more clear during the day so to completely flip things kind of like that is something that i would take in the morning and then opposite to that i would take magnesium at nighttime so usually i'll try to get 500 milligrams 500 milligrams of uh, magnesium so this is gonna help with your sleep recovery and this is that's also the dose of magnesium. I believe I recommend it in one of my mineral videos. Something that's gonna make you tired, so don't take this at the beginning of the day. But again, another electrolyte that's definitely super important when you're training, you won't cramp up while you're training, and that helps you sleep and recover, so. So recently, I haven't been doing as many vegetables. I feel bloated in my stomach, kinda hurts when I have a lot, like a lot of vegetables. So I've been taking two different things, grass-fed beef liver and uh, grass-fed bone marrow. So because of the lack of nutrients and vitamins that I'm getting from not having vegetables or I'm not getting from not having vegetables. I definitely use this as a sub. You know, I was actually going to cut this out of the video because I get really irritated when they do these subtle sponsorships without admitting they're sponsored. But that specific company that sells those organs is not only like twice as expensive as the ones I sell on organsupplements.com. They also use fillers in every single one of their products just to charge more and make more money. If you go to buy their bone marrow product, it'll be half beef liver. If you go to buy their thyroid product, it'll be 60% beef liver. Beef liver powder is much, much cheaper than any other glands. They're ripping people off. They're astroturfing. You don't want to support businesses like this. Look, get, get the powders anywhere you want, but you know whatever supplement you buy, whatever food you buy, e even purchasing from me, Go to a local farm, get the organ itself, purchase the organ from a local farmer. If you want to support me, that's great. You know, I'm a person that actually gives back. Don't give these scumbags your money. They steal everyone else's ideas. They use their platforms and their connections to make themselves more money, to buy their mansions, to have parties. They don't give half a shit about the average person. You want to look like a, a stunted 12 year old boy because you took too many trend bologna sandwiches? Listen to this guy. No clue what he's talking about completely sponsored supplement to increase the amount. I'm not super informed on this, but I definitely know. Yeah. Yeah, no shit. I know that bone marrow and beef liver, bone marrow has calcium and then beef liver has a bunch of other vitamins that are gonna. Absolutely. Uh, so he's completely incorrect. I'm not gonna even address that because that's a completely wrong assessment of the nutrient profile. What I will say briefly here is the amount of bone marrow and liver or tallow you get from these supplements is insignificant. If th these companies, it disgusts me. They're selling like beef tallow in capsules for like $50, $60 a bottle. Like what? Like beef tallow, marrow, fat, liver, 
muscle meat, very high volume organs that are large on the animal, you have to physically consume a lot of them. So if a company is going to sell you a bottle of pills of bone marrow, they're being disingenuous. It's not, you'd have to take like a quarter of the bottle to feel the effect of eating some actual bone marrow. And it's, it's just, it's not good. Not a good look. People aren't educated enough to understand these products. It actually irritates me, which is why I started organ supplements and why I only sell specific mixes of glandulars that I know are effective and that I know work. Help vitamins and nutrients that are going to help supplement or replace the ones that I'm not getting from. Yeah, they're not helping your brain cells, so buddy. So obviously, if you're just trying to lose weight to the average person, this wouldn't make a huge difference in your daily life. But for someone who's an athlete or someone who's trying to have maximum performance, not these a great two salesman things either. Definitely affect that. So if you're prepping for a bodybuilding competition or if you're training for sport, you want how much did they sure pay you, buddy? Nutrients from these things are included in your diet. The only reason I use these as a supplement rather than like getting actual organ meat in itself is it's kind of hard to find organ meat in just your local store so when i'm not able to i'll supplement with these of course it's always better to have the actual thing itself but if it's not available then a supplement's better than it's not better to have the actual thing itself if it's as i said a certain type of organ or a certain size organ you can only get it in higher amounts with the actual food right now we're gonna cook up some eggs and ground beef i'm not sure exactly what i'm gonna have but uh you guys will see in just one second we have eight eggs here we're gonna cook probably five yeah five eggs but this is gonna be like a typical meal like as i said before eggs and ground beef especially with the pasture raised eggs and the 93 percent ground beef is just like the perfect combination should absolutely not be eating you know a dozen two dozen eggs a day unless they are the absolute highest quality possible and the fact that he's able to eat that many eggs i mean without a doubt shows that the omega-6 content is elevated because that increases appetite. Uh, if it's super duper wild quality, then maybe two or three eggs max would satiate you. Now that we have our eggs cracked, we are going to whisk them up. I like measuring out my ground beef before I start cooking my eggs because then you get the perfect, you can just cook the eggs to what you want and then add it onto the plate and they're never overcooked, so. Something really special or anything like that. Okay, so I know a lot of people do want more special things in their diet, but to be honest, I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what I would do in a real day. Like I'm not having anything, anything crazy. Sticking to what I know I like, what I think tastes good, and that's gonna change from day to day, right? So some days I'm gonna like more eggs, some days I'm gonna like more sausage. Don't mean this. You got the ground beef ready? This is gonna be our meal. We're probably gonna go eat it, watch a bit of the Super Bowl because it is indeed Super Bowl Sunday. We finished cooking the meal, eggs, ground. I mean, look, you know, this is obviously way better than the vegan diets we've seen, standard American diets we've seen. But you know, if the average person ate this for a year or two years, you know, they would improve their health drastically in some ways. In other ways, they would start developing imbalances and potentially other problems. Beef, keeping it simple. This is an example of what I have for a meal. Yeah, we're gonna go watch the Super Bowl, I guess. Peace. If you told me this was going to be a carnivore day of eating and I was going to get pissed off at the sponsorships, I would not have believed you. But um, I, I was honestly thinking about making a whole video about this on its own. Just these astroturfing, degenerate, secret society scumbags stealing other people's ideas. And it's, it hasn't just happened to me. I've been fortunate that I've been able to point out the people that are plagiarizing me point out the people that are copying my business ideas, you know, trying to steal my viewers, trying to steal my personal revenue. But that's what these secret society people do. They think they're smarter than everyone. They think they own everything and they want all the money to themselves, yet they never actually improve anyone's health and they never give back to anyone or the community. Never, ever. Let's end this on a positive note, something to look forward to. I'll put all these degenerates out of business in a few years, maybe 10 years, cause I'm not gonna sell a fucking supplement bottle full of beef fat, 180 capsules, 90 grams, a quarter pound of beef fat for 55 fucking dollars. This is, it's unfucking believable. It's unbelievable. So thank you guys for joining me. Please subscribe so YouTube unsubscribes you next week. Please check the notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos and, uh, Speaking of censorship, I can't even get my products on Amazon like these people do. That, that's how bad it is. So you really have to you know, support small businesses, tell people about them, and you know, it's, it, it's just getting harder and harder now. They're, they're 
putting all of these people out of business and they're taking control of everything for themselves. Uh, so I'll see you guys for tomorrow. Mm -hmm.